can't wait to get home. All the shopping has worn me out. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of this car. We've got so many packages in here that Scooby has to sit on my lap. <laughs> I can't see where we're going, Scoob. Your big head is in my way. Sorry. It's snowing so hard, I don't recognize this road. We should have reached the main highway by now. I think we've taken a wrong turn somewhere. We should be reaching the main road any minute now. Boy, it'll be dark soon, and this is no kind of weather to be driving in. Yeah, let's hurry up and get home. Scooby's getting heavier every minute. Oh, it's all your day. Uh-oh. Why is the motor making that strange noise? I don't know, Velma, and I don't like it. Where are we? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Fred, the motor has stopped. And so has the car. But the mystery machine's gas gauge shows that we've still got gas. So that isn't the problem. I'm going to look under the hood. Hand me the flashlight. Oh, Fred, please do something. We just can't get stuck out here in a snowstorm. I'm trying, Velma. I'm trying. Uh, say, Scoob, why don't you give my lap a rest and take a run outside in the snow? Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. I like the snow. And now don't go too far, Scoob, or you'll get lost. Any luck, Fred? What's wrong? I... I think it's the battery. You oh, gotta be careful, no. Fred. What are we gonna do now? Well, without the motor running, we'll all freeze. So we can't stay here. We'll have to leave the mystery machine and find some help. Let's get going right now. Oh, uh, wait. Where's Scooby-Doo? Scooby! Scooby, come here! <coughs> okay, okay, Scoob. Calm down. Stop all that barking and running back and forth. Hey, wait a minute. Scooby's trying to tell us something. I think he wants us to follow him. What? Yeah, yeah, you bet. This way. Let's go, gang. Take the flashlights, girls. What flashlights? We only have one. I've got the other one. It's under my seat. Come on, let's go. Scoob, take us to a place that's nice and warm and where they've got a nice big sandwich. Shaggy, you're always thinking about your stomach no matter what's happening. Keep moving, everybody. Look, there's a big old house up ahead. That's it, that's it. Good boy, yeah. Scooby. Good boy, Scooby. Thank goodness. It'll be great to get inside a nice warm place. I don't see any lights. And look, it's all boarded up. That means this house is empty. It also means that there won't be any folks that work. Uh, let's try to get inside anyway. It's really c cold out here. Shaggy's right. Let's look for some loose boards over one of the windows and climb in. Hey, Scooby's scratching at that side window. Let's take a look. It's open. <laughs> over here. Hey, Scooby's found a window that's loose. There, I got it open. Now let's all climb in. Boy, it's great to be inside. You bet. Turn on those flashlights. It's dark in here. Ooh, it's kind of weird and, and spooky in here, isn't it? Shh. Uh, quiet. Uh, someone's here. Quiet, everyone. Scooby hears something. Look, he's got his nose over by that door. I'll bet it leads to the basement. Let's go over and listen. Quiet. Oh, what a haul, boss. Robbing that bank just before they closed on Christmas Eve was a great idea. Stop gabbing and keep counting. We've got to get out of here. Oh, my. They're crooks. Quiet, or they'll hear us. Just whisper. I'm getting out of here now. Me too. Me too. No, no, you don't. We've got to stay here or we'll freeze outside. I'll, I'll bet they've got guns. Oh. Shh. Say, boss, did you hear something upstairs? Nah, you're just jumpy. This old house is just giving you the creeps. I'm going to check around upstairs anyway, and I'm taking my gun just in case. He's coming upstairs. Put out those flashlights and be very quiet. Go. <laughs> hey, boss, I hear a dog howling out there. He, he must be trying to get in out of the storm. And that's probably what I heard before. Get back down here so we can finish counting our money and get some sleep. 
now what are we going to do? This is terrible. Look, we've got no choice. Let's stay here and be quiet so they won't discover that we're in the house. We'll leave early in the morning before they wake up. That's it. But what if they decide to come up here? They're sure to find us. We've got to do something else to protect ourselves. I'm all for that, Daphne. And while we're at it, let's figure out how to get some help. Okay, I've got an idea. Daphne, shine your flashlight around this room. Well, there's nothing here. Just some old furniture, a big desk, a table, and some chairs. Right. We can quietly move all of this stuff up against the door that goes to the cellar. So those crooks can't get up here, even if they try. That's a great idea. Let's do it. I don't like it. First of all, moving that stuff is a lot of work. And second of all, if they hear us before we're finished, <laughs> then we've had it. Shaggy could be right. Moving this furniture could make enough noise for those crooks to hear us. Someone's got to go for help. And what's to stop them from going out through the basement and coming in the same way we did? There's no way that can happen. As we were coming in, I saw that the basement door was all boarded up. They can't get out that way. But you're right, Daphne. Someone's got to go for help. But in this storm, who would go? Not me. Not me. It was great of you to speak up, Scooby. Who can take this cold snow better than you can? And you can run faster than any of us. Uh, some friend you are. Wait a minute. I see a car going by on the road. There's another. Oh, if they would only stop. Stop? What for? No one in the world knows we're here. Here, Scooby. Hold this flashlight in your mouth and then run out into the road. Attract as much attention as you can and get somebody to come here. Do you understand? All right, all right. Those crooks make me nervous anyway. That's it, Scooby. Out the window and on your way. Now, let's quietly try to move all this furniture against the door. Shaggy, take one end of this desk and I'll take the other. Velma, you shine the flashlight and lead a path of light to the door. Good, that's it. Now let's get the table and jam it up against the desk. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Easy, Fred. <laughs> yeah. There we are. Now, girls, put the chairs on top of the desk. And quiet. Oops. I tripped and the chair hit the floor. Now you've done it, Daphne. They're sure to have heard that. Quiet, everyone. Let's just wait and see. Hey, boss. Did you hear that? Someone's moving stuff upstairs. Yeah, you're right. Let's go upstairs and grab them. Hey, I, I can't open the door. There's something jammed against it. Give me a hand, boss, or we'll force it open. Quick, everybody. Push against all this stuff. We can't let them open this door. Uh, 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 Velma, look out the window. See if you can see Scooby. What'll we do if they break through? Daphne, you shine the flashlight in their faces, and we'll tackle them. Hey, I see a car with a flashing light on the top of the hood. It must be a police car. We've got to signal it. No, we don't. Scooby is running around like a crazy dog with a flashlight in his mouth and leaving them here. It is a police car. <laughs> Open up in there! This is the police! What's going on in here? Is this your dog? What's that car doing out in the middle of the road? Several drivers are reported as a hazard on the road. I called a tow truck. Oh, officer, are we glad you're here. There are two crooks behind that basement door. They've robbed the local bank and they have guns. Okay, young lady. We'll take charge of this. Step aside. All right, you. Come out with your hands up. Say, what are you kids doing here anyhow? We were shopping and heading for home when our mystery machine broke down. Your what? Our mystery machine. It's a van, and we are, uh, Mystery Incorporated. Wait a minute. Seems to me I've heard of you. Let's flash a light on those two crooks. Look at that face. There's a thousand dollar award for that one's capture. He's robbed several banks around here. Wow. wow. And if it weren't for Scooby, we would still be pushing furniture up against that door, officer. He's our real hero. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I brought the help. 
Scooby, we're gonna buy you the biggest, juiciest steak you ever saw. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's great! Steak! <laughs>